said, my name is Jacob E. Surakumar. <coughs> so I'm coming from uh, New Haven, Connecticut. I started this company after 25 years of uh, research in the field. So starting from the, my postdoc, I discovered the function of air disease causing isoform of FGFR2. And then after discovering that function, then I created a first animal model for, for this uh, Cruzon and Pfeiffer syndrome. And uh, after creating model, the, the goal is to find out the mechanism of uh, the, how the disease is happening in the children. And uh, cre after creating the model, I wanted to find out what is the specific signaling pathway when this receptor is mutated that causes this uh, syndrome. So I went to Yale as for my second postdoc, where I discovered the specific pathway uh, that causes this disease because when a receptor is activated, it can send signal to multiple signaling pathways. So identifying the critical signaling pathway was a key for the next step of treatment. So after identifying that uh, uh, pathway, we uh, patented that, published, and uh, and then I was uh, I became a faculty at the Yale, and then went further down to find a druggable target. We found that and then started the company, Cruzon Pharmaceuticals, in 2016. And uh, you know, we found a, a molecule to block the target and file the patent. We received the patent. And we are in the preclinical studies uh, doing the drug optimization. And uh, we hope to bring this medicine to the children affected by this disorder. So this is a very good experience for me as a startup company. When I came here, I was met uh, you know, very good uh, chemists here, the service providers and also scientists and patent attorneys. And uh, it was uh, such a rich experience. Yes, so the drug that we are developing is for a rare pediatric disease. It's called craniosynostosis syndromes which means it's a premature fusion of the skull bones before the brain completes its growth. So this affects the children's, uh, it, 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 it causes a deformity of the face and uh, skull of these children. And also it causes uh, you know, a difficulty in breathing, in speaking, in eating, and, it, it, uh, uh, and also it causes severe uh, intracranial pressure and uh, vision and the hearing problems. And the children undergo multiple surgeries, uh, still unable to, you know, get a full uh, uh, normal face. And also they, you know, spend most of the time in hospital. They lose their precious uh, childhood. And, uh, and also it's an uh, economic burden and social stigma for the family. And the children also grow in very isolation. One of the problem that uh, rare diseases places is, uh, you know, there's not much incentive for the companies to develop the drugs. So we have like 7,000 rare diseases and we don't have a medicine for most of them. And there are 300 million people who are uh, uh, living with this uh, rare disease. And therefore, there, is, there must be, a, you know, novel ways to develop the medicines for rare disorders. And that's what I was uh, speaking today. India is very good in uh, uh, you know, making uh, pharmaceutical compounds, number one, uh, and also in genetic compounds. And there is a lot, lot potential for India to come up well with the, uh, to shine in the pharmacological area, in drug discovery area. Yes, they should, they, they, they should have an you know, uh, appetite for uh, discovering things. And the discovery takes time, so they should have the patience, and the patience plus patience. They, they both need that. And that will lead to new discoveries and uh, that will lead to innovation. Mm -hmm.